Howdy, folks. I'm the Redneck Redeemer. I am here with my friend Lottie. Howdy, Howdy how are folks. You? I'm doing good. I'm so glad to be here with you. I'm, I'm so excited for this segment, and I'm glad to be here. Well, folks, I usually don't have guests on this, but Lottie had a That's question true. for me. This, this, this segment is called Reckon This. And uh, that's where people ask me questions. Y'all can send them in in the comments. We want to pick his brain. Pick my brain, and I tell you what I reckon about the questions you send me. That's that's all it is. That's it. And so you had a question. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, there's a woman named Lauren Bobert who was at a theater. <laughs> Lauren what? <laughs> Lauren Bobert? <laughs> I ain't no way that's a real name. That, that is her real, yes, that's her real name. And, and she got in trouble. That sounds like a Muppet that lives in Hazard County. <laughs> Who is driving that Mustang? That was Lauren Berbert. Who? Bobert. I, I actually I see your point. That is an, an interesting last name, but that, that, that is her like, name. That sounds like some made up shit. All right, go ahead. I, I, it's, I swear it's not. All right. And, and she got in trouble for some what people consider uh, inappropriate behavior in a theater. All right. Is, so uh, what do you think? Do you want to watch? The video? Well, I mean, I feel like we should watch the video, but no, I mean, I, 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 got, I got, we got it here. All right, let's take a look. Okay. Uh, Mark, uh, let's see. All right, we pulled up some of the segments here. There we go. All right. And that, is that her, Darren? Oh, yeah, you see her? All right, there she is. I don't know what she's doing. It don't look, it don't look like the show has started. It hasn't started yet. Is she smoking? Yeah, she's vaping. <sighs> that shit. I already don't like her. Because you of mean vaping. vaping. No, I don't like that. That's what cowards do when they don't want to smoke. <laughs> That's the coward cigarette, ain't it? It's like, motherfucker, if you want to smoke, smoke. You know? And I, then these sneaky son bitches try to say, I'm not smoking. I can do this in the house. You do it in my house, I'm going to bust you in the mouth. Because I'm telling you, I don't want this house smelling like a goddamn peach fart. Because that's what like 90% of that vape shit smells like. If somebody ate a peach and farted it. And then they blow it up. It ain't tobacco. Fuck you. Get out of my trailer. <laughs> Sorry, don't like her. <laughs> I already don't like you her. You don't like her. I, I don't I, like I, her. I got that. I don't care for her. So, no, I, don't, I already don't like her for doing that crap. Uh, so, vaping. Vaping bad. Coward cigarette. Gotcha. gotcha. Coward cigarette. Would you, go ahead and watch a little bit more. All so right. You can see what else is going on. All right. Let me see. This is where you told me to watch. There we go. All right. Oh, boy. What is happening? Is that man checking her titty for cancer? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, she getting handsy up in this place, isn't yes, she, Lottie? Yes, she oh, is. Oh, damn. She's she digging is. around in his Peter. She, she <laughs> is. She is. She's gotten her a little bit of a handful of cock doo doo <laughs> Now, people were, uh, they thought this was inappropriate behavior. Uh, if, for man, here's the thing. If you go to one in theaters... You gotta expect this shit. That's what I don't respect. Is if people go to a theater and they go to see one of them movies, it's like, look, people are gonna get horny and, and pull their stuff out. Oh, what, so I don't understand. What, the, it. what theater are you going to where people are getting horny and pulling their stuff out? At adult theaters, you go to you go see watch a nudie uh, movie. Oh, and okay, people okay. Be see, this, this is what you, this is not an adult theater. This is a theater where there's people on stage singing songs. Singing songs? What is this, I mean, a nutcracker? <laughs> there's, there's, there's people, there's kids in the audience. What? There's all... It, it's, and this old girl is having her man rub her titty? Yes. Oh, and no. She's grabbing his, what did you call it? <laughs> his old cock a doo yes. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and you know, uh, is this appropriate behavior for a first date? I mean, yeah, but it depends on the, 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 the location. You can't be going to... I mean, you can't be going to a, if if they're in there watching Nutcracker or something like that. You can't be doing that shit. I thought you meant they were going to watch Debbie Does Dallas or something. And I'd be like, hell yeah, this is appropriate behavior. I think they were watching Beetlejuice, like the movie. Yeah, except with songs with Richard Gere. Or who is it? No, it ain't Richard Gere. It's not Richard. It's not Richard Gere. Who is it? Uh, M Michael Douglas. It's the uh, the Fatal Attraction. No. God damn. Michael Keaton. Keaton. That's, That's it. Right. Batman. Uh, Batman, yes. If you're going to watch the, the Batman, you can't be rubbing somebody's booby. And the other thing, look at how this guy is, is touching her uh, her booby. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah. This man needs to learn how to pleasure a woman. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, well, look at that. It looks clinical. She did say that there was not going to be a second date. So maybe you're right. Of course, because he's looking right. for lumps. 
<laughs> I mean, so, so that's so, how you pleasure a booby. So, uh, your reckon is that this is probably not a good way to behave? Or no, no, they should kick her ass out. If she's up there vaping and blowing shit all over the place and rubbing on her man's ding dong, I hope they throw her right out. <laughs> throw her out on her ass. You know, she's I, taking photos. Yes. What the fuck is wrong with her? This is what I don't like. People would be over there like taking photos, and and then they're like, if you don't like it, leave, motherfucker. You leave. You're the one that's doing that shit. You're absolutely right. God Almighty! I already don't like this old dirt leg. That's one of the things I don't care. You know, she is a she's a congressperson. There ain't no way that's true. Yeah, yeah, she's a she's an elected congressman. For which state elected this dirt leg? <laughs> Tell me that. It had to be Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew you were going to be surprised. I knew you were going to be surprised. We used to call these old girls dirt legs, Lottie. <laughs> dirt leg? Why? So, where we grew up, it was uh, gravel roads as far as I could see. Okay. Gravel roads everywhere. And uh, to get to parties and stuff, you'd have to get people to pick you up, you know, or you'd have to walk. And the old girls who walked them on gravel roads, they were the ones that was desperate to hook up. Them was dirt legs. Because when you picked them up, their legs would be all covered with dirt. <laughs> and you, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You knew you'd get some intimacy. <laughs> but at the end of the night, you'd make her walk her ass home. <laughs> because they're, 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 they're triflesome. Triflesome. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I am impressed with some of your word knowledge, they're sir. They're trifling. You take them. Here's the thing. Imagine you want to take a dirt leg out on a date. This okay. is how the date would go. Okay. You go to Applebee's because you want to get a steak. Okay. And you take this whole dirt leg to the Applebee's. And y'all be there eating. And you have your nice margarita because you ordered a nice drink. You ordered her a nice drink. She's drinking her margarita. And as you're eating your steak, she'd go, I think they put tomatoes in my salad. Like, oh, I'm sorry about that, baby. You just, I can pull them out for you if you want. They did that because they don't like my family. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I, feel, I believe that was just an accident. <laughs> you should probably just take them tomatoes out. And then she sit there and you can see her get all swelled up. Get all mad. Because of the tomatoes? She get all mad. And then you'd be sitting there eating your steak. You're cutting your steak. And you bought this old girl a nice dinner and margarita. And she'd go, I got to go to the bathroom. And she'd go to the bathroom. You're eating your steak. And then out of the corner of your ear, you hear somebody, you hear her screaming in the other room. Y'all put tomatoes in my salad. My boyfriend will whoop your ass. You're like, what the fuck just happened? I don't... She just said I'd whoop some. I ain't whooping nobody's ass. Not even for tomatoes? Not even for tomatoes because, yeah. number one, that shit was a mistake. She's up there causing shit. And she'd go over and she'd get you into a fight. No reason. No goddamn reason. Plus, I happen to know you're a redneck redeemer, and you're not you're not really a, a fighting guy unless you have to. Unless it's a... Tomatoes ain't a reason to fight. Somebody. Tomatoes ain't a reason to fight, folks. But an old dirt leg will get you into a fight, and she'll tell people, my boyfriend will whoop your ass. Girl, you need to talk to me about that before you tell people that shit. This, this is a dirt leg. I guarantee you, I guarantee you she went, do you know who I am? <laughs> She absolutely did. Bitch, nobody cares who you are. Take your vaping ass out of here. Grope your boy's ding dong in the car. You know what I mean? I do. I do. And that sounds like the perfect, that, that's, I, I kind of, you surprise me sometimes, but I kind of expected you to go there. But that is a perfect answer. Did they throw her out? Yes, they did. Good. Good. Did they throw her out on her ass? I hope they tossed her. And she landed right on her old ass. <laughs> Maybe she landed on them titties and popped one of them. Because <laughs> she knows she got two for one on them. <laughs> I bet that is $1,500 a piece. And the second one, she got it for 900 <laughs> That's mean. I shouldn't say that. You, you, it's your segment. You, can, you say what you want. That is what I reckon. That, that she's, she's up there in a, in a dirt leg dress. Trying to tell her old boy, we're gonna go to this. Uh, we're gonna go to this theater. You, you can, you can touch my booby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Red Dead Redeemer. <laughs> and he does this. <laughs> He's like, you like it? <laughs> <laughs> well, she liked it enough to grab him back. I guess so. I. Pfft, that's what a dirt leg does. <laughs>
You gotta let him walk home. He should. He should let that old dirt leg walk home. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get him in a fight. That's what I reckon. I. You heard it, folks. That's what he reckons. On. Reckon this. Thank you. Thanks, folks, for being here. Adios.